Perched on a rocky hillside over a small waterfall, the house, nicknamed Falling Water, has become an icon of modernist architectural design. In keeping with his commitment to organic architecture, Wright sought to find a way to incorporate the structure fully into its site in order to ensure a fluid, dynamic exchange between the interior of the house and the natural environment outside. Rather than build the house overlooking or next to the waterfall, Wright decided to build it over the waterfall, literally immersing the home in the sound and motion of cascading water. The key element of Wright's new architecture was space, not mass. A space designed to fit the patron's life and enclosed and divided only as required. In Falling Water, Wright took the blocky masses characterizing his earlier forms and extended them in all four directions to take advantage of the location. He also designed a series of terraces that extended on three levels from the central core structure. The contrast in textures among concrete, painted metal, and natural stone in the house's terraces and walls enlivened its shape, as does Wright's use of full-length strip windows to create a stunning interweaving of interior and exterior space. Wright took special pains to meet his clients' requirements, often designing all the accessories of a house as well, including, in at least one case, the gowns for his client's wife. Now, what he's doing is he's trying to create massive space inside and connect the inside to the outside. This is an idea that we see in a lot of Asian homes, specifically Japanese homes, where we tend to have entire walls that can open up at any given time. This extends the living area, but also connects one to nature. And that's a kind of a new and rare idea in the United States. After all, we're usually trying to shelter ourselves from nature. We're not trying to be part of it. And yet in falling water, you can't help but be part of nature. Nature is constantly there in these various terraces, as well as in the building materials and the constant sound of the waterfall. The rooms themselves are laid out to be large and basically multifunction. In fact, Wright is famous for creating furniture that's going to be multifunction as well, taking again from the Japanese idea of this very minimalist space, this very open space, where if you're going to have a piece of furniture, it had better serve multiple functions, both pragmatic but also aesthetic. So he becomes this very obsessive designer of everything in the home, creating this beautiful form that, again, fits in nature, but does nothing to try and hide. It simply is meant to fit within the space. 